Hi friends, today I want to recommend Economica Writing by Deirdre McCloskey to you. This is a book that presents 35 rules about writing to help you make your writing better and as a way of giving you a, a bit of an overview of what the book is about, I'll just go over five of those rules with you. The first rule I want to go over is rule number eight, write early rather than late. And what this rule suggests is that by writing regularly and from the start of a project, a little bit at a time, you manage to get a lot of work done without feeling that you're straining in order to get that work done. Um, and it's especially important because a lot of us have the impression that writing is difficult. And it is, but by giving us small objectives and doing it a little bit at a time, we can make that a bit easier on us. The second rule I want to talk about is rule 11, speak to an audience of human beings. This is simply suggesting that we should avoid jargon. We should be aiming to be as clear as possible. This is especially important if you're writing for school or for work because you need to be understood. And the people that are reading you, they're very busy. So making it as easy as possible on them to understand you is paramount. The third rule I want to talk about is rule 14. A paragraph should have a point. Whenever you have a paragraph, you should make sure that there's one idea in that paragraph and that idea is very clearly exposed to the reader. If there's more than one idea in, in a paragraph, it should be broken down into two or more paragraphs. Uh, and if it's not clear what the idea is, you should go back and edit your paragraph to bring that idea out, make it come through so the reader knows what purpose that paragraph is serving in your wider argument. Uh, the fourth rule I'd like to talk about is rule 20, avoid elegant variation. We've, a lot of us at least, have been told as school children that we shouldn't repeat the same words too much. We've been told repetition's bad. But when we're trying to be understood, it's important that for our key words, we reuse the same words. We make it easy for the reader to know that we're still talking about the same concept. And the last rule I want to talk about is rule 24 read out loud. This is a very good advice to edit your essay. You will be able to spot an awkward sentence very easily by reading it out loud. It's a lot easier to spot problems with your sentences when you do that than when you're simply reading them. I hope you found this useful. Bye for now.